Punchbowl will always get the exclusive. You know, actually, my, my homepage. Well, um, I started out, I um, actually started off as like an actor. Um, I didn't kind of know I wanted to do music at first. It was something that kind of kind of fell up on it's kind of weird but so um, I've done that for a little while and then I got a scholarship to go to Sylvia Young for a year so I stayed there for a year and that kind of really helped me kind of embark on you know like the other just the other kind of sides of music in terms of like the theatrical side um, tap jazz everything I actually had a mutual friend with Bashi and then that's when I met Bashi and then we done the first song Black Boys for Black History Month and then I went on to do When the Sky Falls for the soundtrack of Shank, the movie. Um, also I done Beast with Chipmunk. I done that, a lot of people know me from the Beast, the Chipmunk feature as well. So yeah, and then, and then that kind of helped me get the buzz and, and, and let people kind of know that I was a young kid out there ready to kind of hopefully make an impact one day, so. Our relationship with Labyrinth is a very cool one. Um, so far he's just done the first single, Love Drunk, which everybody knows, but I definitely want to work with him some more on some bits and bobs because the album is kind of wrapping up. You might see me on a feature of his album or just something, you know, just to put out, just to keep the music flowing, I guess. The N-Dubs collaboration, when that came about, they was actually in over in New York at the same time I was while I was recording Stuttering with Stargate and uh, they was over signing their Def Jam deal they were, signing, they were going to sign their Def Jam deal, deal with Def Jam and uh, yeah, I kind of, we kind of finished the track and I felt oh, it's missing something, it needs something I wanted it to be someone that I really kind of thought of in like, you know, I like really respected their artistry and someone that it would just be just like almost like the dream team of of collaborations if I could if I could get and I just felt Dappy was the perfect person he came into mind and and someone put in the call and he said oh, he's a big fan I'm a big fan in the week yeah 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 of course I could do it and he came down and then he laced it he knew what he wanted and we listened to it and we said yeah this is the one man so it was a special moment I'm definitely really happy in the state of that like the album is in at the moment um, it's never a problem to have like a lot, too much good too many good too many good songs so I feel that's the position that we're in at the moment it's just trying to get it down to the phone tracks to give to everyone I guess you know like being an artist and being a singer songwriter is definitely important to me do you know what I mean because I feel the music being able to have the gift to, to be able to put pen to pad and really be able to express myself through music um, is a beautiful thing and and it's definitely something that I definitely want people to know I definitely do and, and I express my, a lot of the emotions that you're going to hear on my album is definitely coming from my pen and just straight from me to you, so. And I know this is shooting real high, but I guess you always got to kind of, you know, like want the best for yourself, do you know what I mean? And you know, like, like if, it, if it was possible to just be blessed, just to be able to have a career, like, you know, like, just like a great, like an iconic kind of career, like someone like Michael Jackson or Usher or Justin Timberlake or, you know, like a Mel kind of Beyonce or something, you know, like just someone that I kind of look up to and, and, and kind of make me strive to be the best I can be. So, hopefully, yeah. Um, 10 years, I'd like to be on a yacht somewhere with Simon Cow talking about <laughs> how everything went.